Welcome back everybody to another video and this video is going to be a short and I'm going to touch base on a topic that I don't really rarely ever see anyone talk about and that's your up mixer with your DTS Nord X and your Dolby Atmos surround. Now what those those two format do, it expands the stereo of your 5.1 and your 7.1 channels to multi-channels making use of your height speakers. Now typically you would not up mix unless your DTS X or Dolby Atmos format is not available because your your DTS and your Dolby Atmos format it's going to be deeper and richer than upmixing it. Now your home theater equipment and setup will also determine which upmixer sounds better for your listening desires. And the equipments that I use currently is the Arcam AVR 390, Arcam AVR 550 the Rotel RSP1576, and my Marantz AV7706. And when I upmix NeurX and upmix Atmos Surround and all of those processor and receivers, they do a good job in simulating the height speakers, your Dolby Atmos or your DTSX height speakers. Um, up mixing those in NeurX and Dolby Atmos Surround, it does a great job in all those uh, brands. But I find that with my setup of mixing it to Dolby Atmos Surround, it sounds somewhat better than DTS NeurX both in gaming use and movie watching. But for the source decode, I prefer using DTS Digital Surround instead of Dolby Digital Surround. So to reiterate that, it's best to use the signals, decodes of DTS Surrounds and then upmixing it using the Dolby Atmos Surrounds format instead of DTS Nora X. I find that DTS is better than W Digital decodes, but that topic is still a toss up for debate. And also, I enjoy DTS X more over than W Atmos formats. And now I prefer using W Atmos surrounds upmix over DTS Nora X for everything that. I have to use those format. On a side note, on one of my 4K Atmos receivers, the Yamaha AVR RXA 1070, Dolby Atmos tracks actually is louder and sounds better than DTS X. On DTS X, by default, on the Yamaha, on that Yamaha, you have to crank it up a lot more to get that effect that you would have from Dolby Atmos in that scenario with that Yamaha AVR. So truly it's going to be all subjective to the make and model of your brand and that's going to wrap it up for this video guys. You can go ahead and comment below which format of mixing works for you guys whether it be NeuroX or Dolby Atmos surround and why that is and I would love to hear your comments about your experience and why that is that'd be great so subscribe thanks for tuning in I'll catch you guys in the next one Hooded Dragons out